All right, so here our setup. We have upright setup. I want y'all to see. We actually have uh, an extension cord. I bought a 50 foot non slip extension cord. We cut it into two to three foot sections. We put a junction box, put a waterproof end for the extension cord to stop it. Junction box with um, just some plugs that I got at Home Depot. Got this junction box at Home Depot for a couple of dollars. Got this lid for a dollar or 50 cents. Got this utility box here for a dollar or two dollars, I believe. These little washer, but anyway, I was able to build it for little or nothing. And then we string it out 20 feet. And if we're just doing nothing but park hands, it's more than enough not to trip breakers. And so, just consider using that. We use it for many uses. Here with this truss, we actually the cord is going there. There's a junction box. There's another one. There's another one. Here's another one. And then the end. Is right here and it goes across, spans across 16 feet. We used it for black lights and these park ends. And it was more than enough not to draw any power to cause a breaker switch. Take care, HDM Industries. How to create a long extension cord junction box.